in the 9 plus CGP MCQ series and this is the part 2 of generative artificial intelligence and also in this video question will be taken from the Coursera courses so make sure to go through each of the question first question is uh, first question is what distinguishes generative AI from traditional AI option is it focuses on generating new content rather than making prediction or classification option b it is more efficient in processing large database it relies solely uh, solely on supervised learning techniques and last option is it cannot be applied to creative task correct option will be option a it actually focus on generating new content rather than making prediction or classification next question which of the following is not a type of generative AI models? Option B will be correct. Very simple question. Very fundamental question this is. CNNs is not a type of generative AI models. Next question. How does generative AI contribute to data augmentation? Option is by generating synthetic data to supplement training data set. Option B by reducing the size of training data set. Option C by labeling existing data more efficiently and last option is by validating data quality. Correct option will be option A by generating synthetic data to supplement training data set. Next question which of the following is not an application of generative AI? Option is given content generation, data augmentation, financial forecasting and last option is creative design. Option C will be correct here. Financial forecasting is not application of generative AI. Next question. What is the primary objective of the evaluation phase in the life cycle of generative AI project? Option is to deploy the models in real world application. Option B to validate the performance of the trained model. Option C is to collect additional data. Last option is to select the appropriate generative AI model. Correct option will be option number B to validate the performance of trained model. Moving to the next question. Which of the following is not a part of achieve framework for prompt engineering? Very simple question. Clarity, rejection, examples or interaction. Rejection will be correct here. Moving to the next one. Large language models are primarily trained on option is structured data, unlabeled data, audio data or predefined rules. So LLMC is primarily trained on unlabeled data. So option B will be correct. Next question. What is the purpose of prompt pattern in generative AI? Option A to restrict the creativity of the model. Option B to guide user in crafting effective prompts. Option C to replace the need for human input and last option is to minimize model performance. Option correct option will be option B to guide users in crafting effective prompts. Next question which pattern involves reversing the role of the user and model? Very interesting question option is consecutive verifier pattern, audience persona pattern, flipped interaction pattern or gameplay pattern correct option is option c flipped interaction pattern involves reversing the role of the user and model so option c will be correct here next question how does the template pattern add prompt generation option a by providing predefined template for prompt creation option b by randomly selecting prompts option c by eliminating the need of prompts Option D is by restricting prompt option. Correct option is option A by providing predefined templates for prompt creation. Next question. What does the meta language creation pattern prompt models to do? Option is generate new language or terminology. Option B translate existing language. Option C analyze language pattern or correct language errors so right option is generate new language terminology next question which pattern frames prompt as step-by-step -step instruction gameplay pattern recipe pattern 
अल्टरनेट अप्रोच पैटर्न और मेटा लैंग्वेज क्रिएशन पैटर्न करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर बी रेसिपी पैटर्न फ्रेम्स प्रॉम्प्ट एज ए स्टेप बाई स्टेप इंस्ट्रक्शन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट इज द पर्पज ऑफ टेल जनरेशन पैटर्न ऑप्शन इज टू जनरेट प्रॉम्प्ट डायनेमिकली टू लिमिट प्रॉम्प्ट ऑप्शन टू इलिमिनेट ह्यूमन इनपुट लास्ट ऑप्शन इज टू गाइड मॉडल ट्रेनिंग करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन ए टू जनरेट प्रॉम्प डायनेमिकली नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट इज द प्राइमरी पर्पज ऑफ द क्वेश्चन रिफाइनमेंट पैटर्न इन द कन्वर्सेशन डिजाइन ऑप्शन इज जनरेटिंग कंप्लेक्स क्वारीज सिंप्लीफाइंग यूजर क्वेश्चन इंश्योरिंग ग्रामेटिकल करेक्टनेस एंड लास्ट ऑप्शन इज फोकसिंग ऑन अनरिलेटेड टॉपिक्स करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर बी सिंप्लीफाइंग यूजर क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन द कंजिटिव वेरीफायर पैटर्न वट रोल डॉज वेरीफिकेशन प्ले इन द कन्वर्जन फ्लो ऑप्शन इज वेरीफाइंग यूजर आइडेंटिटी वेरीफाइंग ग्रामेटिकल करेक्टनेस वेरीफाई द एक्यूरेसी ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन लास्ट ऑप्शन इज वेरीफाइंग सिस्टम स्टेटस करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन सी वेरीफाइंग द एक्यूरेसी ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वाई इज रिफ्लेक्शन इंपॉर्टेंट इन द कंटेक्सट ऑफ डिस्क्राइब पैटर्न ऑप्शन ए to confuse user from an underlying assumptions option b to validate the model's output automatically option c to uncover gaps in knowledge or undertaking sorry understanding last option is to generate multiple choice question manually correct option is option c to uncover gaps in knowledge or understanding next question how do variation in the output contribute to the effectiveness of large language models correct option is option number b variation allows for exploration and creativity in response next question what is the significance of phrase from now on in the fundamental conceptual statement this is the phrase given to you and uh, it actually established a recurring behavior for suggesting improved questions so option c will be correct next question in prompt engineering what role does context play in formulating effective prompts option a context is irrelevant irrelevant option b context helps in creating ambiguous prompt option c context only applies to visual prompts option d is context is essential for generating a relevant response correct option will be option number d context is actually essential for generating a relevant response and the last question is what is prompt engineering in the context of natural language processing the full form of nlp can also be asked in your exam and the full form of gpt llms can also be asked uh, Although that is a very simple question, I don't think that will be asked. But better is if you keep remember those full forms. Correct option is option number B, a method to design effective and specific prompt for language model. So option B will be correct. So this was all about the generative AI. Thank you so much for watching the videos.